hello everyone today i am going to show you guys how to make this parametric structure in revit so let's start open new architectural template file of revit in this tutorial i am going to make these two components which i have marked go to meshing inside in place mesh select a reference plane and start drawing reference planes on level 1 floor plan these three reference planes make one component name these reference planes as a1 a2 and a3 so that it is easy to identify in the elevation mode name the other set as b1 b2 and b3 for the second component Go to North Elevation, select a reference plane, mark two vertical reference planes and two horizontal reference planes so that it is easy to draw the elevation. Name these reference planes as well. Now select this SP line with control points. Set the reference plane to A1 to draw the first component and start drawing. You can easily edit this drawing with the help of these control points. So adjust this shape now go to floor plan actually go to level to ceiling plan copy this SP line and paste it in the A2 reference plane. Move back to north elevation, set the reference plane to B2 to draw the second component. Select the SP line with control points and start drawing the elevation of second component. Again adjust the shape of this SP line with the help of control points. Go to level 2 ceiling plan, select this uh, uh, SP line, copy and paste it in the B3 reference plane. Go to 3D, select these SP lines, all of these 4 SP lines and copy and paste it at the exact same position.
select these two SP lines and create form. Select these two other SP lines and again click on create form. Select this mesh, click on divide surface, keep the U grid 1 and the V grid as 30. Repeat this same process on the second component as well. Open new family select curtain panel pattern paste and open the file a new window appears now select the reference point and on all of these four adoptive points place the reference points one by one Now select this whole component. In this area select the reference points. Add an offset of 4 feet. All of these 4 reference points move upwards at an offset of 4 feet. Select the reference line and connect these reference points. Ma before drawing mark the 3D snapping so that it is easy to draw. Now draw the reference lines as shown in the drawing. Again select the reference point and mark at this at these three points. Draw a circle of two inches in radius in all these three points. Before drawing make sure to set the reference plane at this point. Select these four reference lines, select the circle and click on create form. Again select these two lines and select the circle and click on create form. Repeat this process on this area as well. The adaptive component is now complete. Save this component. And load it into the project. Go to 3D. Select this mass and at this point enter the pattern of panel family which we have loaded into this project. Repeat this process on this other component as well. The structure is now almost complete.
now select those two lines which we have copy and pasted at the exact position select them and click on create form repeat this process on the other component as well now go to north elevation set the reference plane to A2 select the reference the line with control points before drawing the SP line hide the other component so that it does not create disturbance and start drawing the SP line just have to connect these points with the help of these SP lines Repeat this process on the other component as well. Go to 3D Select the reference point Place it on this newly drawn SP line Set the reference plane at this point and draw a circle of radius 4 inches Select the circle and the SP line and click on create form Repeat the same process on the other component. The mass is now complete. Click on Finish Mass. And this is how the structure looks like.
go to meshing and site select wall and select these two mesh to add material and thickness to this structure the 3d is now complete you just have to repeat this process to draw the other components I hope you like this tutorial if you have any queries feel free to ask also if you want me to upload any specific tutorial just tell me and I will try to upload it as soon as possible I will meet you guys in the next tutorial till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tutorials